Hi, so in today's video I have a few new coffee flavors that I want to try on camera and just do a quick review. So here it is. been a while since I haven't talked about the new flavors or I haven't done any coffee review that's simply because I was just using my regular coffee capsules you can check out my favorites of my top 10 Nespresso favorites those are still the same so recently I passed by a Nespresso store and I was curious to try these two flavors so the first one is Paris Espresso and the second one is Istanbul Espresso I also want to mention that I have a bunch of new uh, compatible capsules that I'm going to try in an upcoming video. So if you're looking for more affordable or different coffee options, um, I'm going to give you my favorites in that video. So make sure you watch it at next. Today it's the Espresso Istanbul. So this one is a more dark roasted uh, coffee bean. It's an intensity number eight, which is indicated here. And let me read you the descriptions. So for the Istanbul, uh, espresso takes you back in time to the original coffee houses. This intense ambrosial brew bursts with boldness, wild ripe fruits and a delicate almond touch. Thick and velvety in homage to Turkish coffee, it's Ethiopian Arabica and Indian Robusta remind us of this city at the crossroads of the ancient coffee trade house routes. It's a blend of cosmopolitan, ah, it's a blend as cosmopolitan as blah blah blah. Uh, enjoy it like a local, accompanied with a glass of water and a piece of Turkish delight. We're not going to do that, we're not locals, but I'm excited to taste the blend of Ethiopian beans and Robusta from Indian Robusta. So let me read you the description for Paris coffee as well. So the Paris uh, World Exploration is um, a lower intensity, it's intensity number six. This one was recommended to me by the shop. Um, assistance because I asked them what is something new that it's worth to try and then they told me this one is the most popular right now and um, besides being intensity 6 I think let me see what they write do they write anything in English yes Paris boasts a rich cafe cafe culture where people enjoy philosophizing over coffee does it <laughs> Uh, World Exploration Paris uh, transports you to the, these terraces with its balanced blends of lightly roasted Latin American Arabicas, yay, Arabicas, uh, emboldened by Vietnamese Robusta. Ooh, so that is an interesting combination. Robusta usually is very bitter, <laughs> it's not one of my favorite coffee beans. Um, this delicately bitter cup with cereal and citrus notes lives up to the Parisian cafe experience. Drink it like a local, enjoy your cup black or as a cafe au lait with a French pastry. We don't have French pastry, so we're just gonna have it plain. <laughs> Maybe with a cup of water next. So, let's try it! the fun part the taste test so let's start with the lighter roast which is the Paris espresso uh, this is how the capsule looks like right from the start I can tell the smell is um, not overpowering but it smells nutty yeah it has a nutty flavor profile I would say similar to the uh, Pike Place from Starbucks. I can feel like a blend of nuts with a slightly hint of berries. Overall, it's something pleasant. It's slightly on the acidic side because it's a roast number six and usually lower intensity coffees are taste a bit more acidic. Mm, but I don't hate it. I think I'm yeah, it's uh, probably a 7 out of 10 on my flavor profile rating. It's definitely a good coffee in my opinion. Let me try it by adding some milk to it. Just to see how and if the if the flavor goes through milk. All right, that's the question. Hmm, interesting. 
yeah i can definitely feel it. it it's a mouthful of coffee so it's quite syrupy and uh it lingers in your mouth um yeah it's an average cup of coffee i don't think it's anything great but it's not terrible so now let's try the istanbul istanbul okay i'll try black first but before that i need to wash my plates palettes let's try istanbul Ooh, wow this is totally different um the first hint of flavor that comes through is definitely it tastes like a flavored coffee but it's not am i reading this right yeah the smell uh smells fruity it has like an intense uh berries again flavor profile but it's more like a chocolate berry um if you have tried the cadbury forest fruit <laughs> that's what this coffee um brings me me to it's something like a um, hint of turkish delight maybe i don't know mm. i would think this would taste really nice uh, iced so something unique is definitely a unique coffee i don't think i own any coffee that tastes similar to this the paris one i don't think it's unique i'm sorry but i mean bike place and um vienna coffees is like almost in that zone in the nutty uh, coffee area with a slight hint of robusta but this one is definitely something more unique it's very chocolatey and uh, fruity and more dark roasted it's more bitter definitely all right a bit of milk just to see if this changes the taste Oh, I still like it. I mean, I <laughs> I definitely enjoy trying coffees that are different. And if you're someone who looks to try something new, something unique, something that it's not your regular Monday to Friday coffee, I think you would enjoy the Istanbul. But if you're someone who doesn't like to take much risk with your coffee, you prefer your coffees light to medium roast, um, then this is a coffee that you could drink like every day so that is my review for today um let me know what other capsule you have tried from espresso that you enjoy and also uh, make sure you watch my next video because i'm going to share my favorite compatible uh capsules for my espresso machine bye